Okay, if you're just joining us, we're going to show how to use the Andromeda and the most important part, we're going to show how to fire missiles if we can find this bounty that's over here. So the first thing we need to know is that uh, if you press P, you will get your missile racks out. And if we slow down for a bit, and if you press J, if you're having been a problem flying the ship, this is why, it's because it's trying to land. This is for for surface and I, I only realized now what a thing it was so if I press J I actually close these vents now let's take a look yeah the ship is much easier to fly now now it's like super responsive it's like extremely responsive oh my word Well, let's go there for ease. So we just cut the planet out, basically. So there. So now the ship's a lot easier to fly. That I've figured out that you just have to close those vents for those airfoils. I mean, I'm flying at a pretty high speed now, and it's much more manageable. We use. So we use the thrusters to align ourselves to face forward so we're not actually drifting. Uh, is there no way to get to there? No. So yeah, so that J part of actually opening up the vents and closing should only really be used when landing. Because it actually shows my ship stopping up a little bit. So it like has a little bit of a kick forward. And then yeah, then there's just the weapon part where we actually can s close and open up the missile racks. And the biggest problem that I faced when I rented the ship was the fact I couldn't shoot my missiles. So when we get to the bounty, we will show how this is possible. Let's just speed up. I am so sick of seeing this chat. What is wrong with the server? People are toxic today. Jeez. So we can go... How... By the time we get there, the bounty is going to be gone. This always happens. As you can see up there, we've already fired some of my 52 missiles so this is not me talking rubbish I actually absolutely know that this is a thing but when I am in here um, I prioritize I can set which which missiles are pro uh, priority CS2 or marksman 1 and I've selected marksman 1 and that's the one that's been used because apparently the problem is with the strike force so So the one most important thing to learn is that we have something known as a shift key which changes your aiming mode so you can look around and it will still shoot forward but I think this somehow has some influence on how we actually shoot our missiles um, but that no mess mode I'm thinking will be more um, acceptable uh, if you're using sort of like turrets like this let's just go back into that shift yeah so I do I do also feel this mode helps keep you in line so if you're shooting something you'll always be flying in that direction of the turret so there we go so now you see how my ship is not actually moving to the side I've switched I have switched my aiming mode so that I'm not automatically piloting towards where I'm looking for the turrets because the moment I do that see what happens when my ship turns and I don't want that I think that's unnecessary so this is definitely if you want to fly in a straight line like so but you want to be able to shoot around you without actually moving your ship okay so the important part about missiles which I have learned is first of all it seems that the mode change helps and that you have to have your reticle directly on the enemy it doesn't automatically lock the missiles for the ships that are around your screen over here it only locks missiles to the ships that are within your circumference or your reticle um, before you can actually fire it so uh, hopefully I can demonstrate it hopefully the bounty doesn't get cancelled just because I'm taking my time to get there but I can't help it my ship is going as fast as it possibly can
So let's just see if we can raise the power a bit here. Is there any way to do that? We can overclock the system, but I don't want to really do that. It tends to damage the ship. Um, it helps if you have a ballistic weapon as well equipped because then you can just simply change while the weapons are cooling down. All right, we're going to get there. We're going to shoot this guy with missiles. Almost there. Let's just bring it down to a, a steady speed. Not the fastest ship. My Cutlass is a lot faster. Right, there we go. We have a bogey. So let's just see. I'm not going to use my no mass mode. I'm going to strictly aim. Okay, we might also be a bit distant away. Now let's just switch modes. Okay, we're a bit too far away at the moment. Okay, so there's that, it turns blue. Now let's switch modes. Come on, I need to be in range for this. There we go. So let's switch modes. So we were uh, in the second phase. That's the shift key. The left, the, sorry, the right hand shift key is what switches your mode. So let's try this now without. Okay, so we're putting our reticle over it. There we go. There's your missiles. Firing, 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 firing. Oh, I'm also shooting the same. <laughs> okay, all right. We're having a bit of a fun time here. Ah, let's. Whoops. Ah, don't bump into me, you silly nana. So, once you've got that first lock on. Spam the missiles! Yes! Yes! Okay, next next one. Okay, so we're not we're not in our number, we're just gonna put the rectacle over. Got ten thousand for that. Ten thousand smacks. Alright, let's try this again. So we're gonna aim our rectacle over the enemy. Over our bogey. This has quite a lot of range though with this weapon here. Okay, still out of range. So I'm getting those little ticks. Should be under 3,000. There we go! And there we have launched our missiles! So there we go, folks. That is how you shoot missiles on the Andromeda. It's very important to have that into play. So we're going to shut down our weapons. And we're going to head back to wherever we need to go. Let's just see if there's another bounty waiting for us. Because that was pretty freaking easy. With that missing salvo, there was no chance to do that. I'm not taking any of these bounties here. They they can go fly a kite. Uh, a group of outlaws operating asteroids. Yes, we can take that. Because we've already... Uh, found our way but there we go so i hope you enjoyed that part i'm actually this is i'm gonna actually chop this video up it is part of a stream so i'm not just saying goodbye like i normally do because i'm actually going to carry on my stream but i hope this information has helped a lot